Hi, everybody, and welcome to Off the Shelf, a special podcast from the Clarington Public Library, all about the TD Summer Reading Club. We are reporting live from the Curtis branch, and my name is Trinity, and I am joined today by my friend and colleague, Maddie. The theme for this year's TD Summer Reading Club is Game On, so we made sure that our recommendations for this podcast are totally awesome and represent that theme. Also, given that the Curtis Library finally opened its doors July 21st after being closed for way too long, it seems like most people aren't aware of what programs are currently running. We are both very excited to finally get this project started, and we can't wait to see where it goes. Yeah, I totally agree. Hey guys, Maddie here. Before we get into the book recommendations, I wanted to begin with some library updates, just so you can get an idea of what's happening at the library and what you can get involved in. There's lots of things going on right now, especially related to the TD Summer Reading Club, so let's get into it. First of all, all four branches of the library are open for browsing, self-serve holds, computer access, study tables, and children's areas with limited capacities seven days a week with evening hours as well. It is great to have the libraries open and I know a lot of members have been making good use of being able to browse in the library. So come on over to your local branch and check out a book. Another interesting piece of news we have is that steam kits are currently available at the library. Each kit comes with a steam activity and a book. There are eight different kinds of kits you can choose from and they're available at each branch. You may have to place hold on them as they are getting pretty popular. In these kits, you can learn about gravity, magnetism, circuits, and more. If you like our steam videos that we've been posting on YouTube recently for the TD Summer Reading Club, you'll definitely love these kits and they let you have a great activity to take home with you. Another thing that's going on is Superstar Storytellers. There is only one Superstar Storytellers program left and it will be taking place on August 17th from 7 to 8 p.m. featuring Katie Farina, Jess Keating, and Erin Nell Steinke. Uh, Those are three amazing authors who have written some really cool books. So if you sign up uh, now, you can get your spot. Uh, The spots are limited, so you may want to sign up as quick as you can. Um, and you'll be able to see these authors talk about their books and all sorts of things about literature, and it'll be a great time. You can also follow follow the link um, on the Superstar Storytellers page on the Clarendon Public Library website to find a Google Forms where you can submit any questions you have for the library, um, or for the authors, rather, and these questions could actually be featured during the program. They might ask the authors your question, so that could be something super fun, so make sure you guys get on that and come on out to Superstar Storytellers. Uh, Finally, the TD Summer Reading Club. This is the main point of this podcast day that we're going to be talking about. So although we don't have any in-person programs this year, the TD Summer Reading Club is still going strong. We have lots of virtual content up on our YouTube channel and on the Clarington Public Library website. So I'm just going to go and list some of the things that we have going on uh, as for the virtual programs. Uh, We have storytime shorts every Monday, including some in French. We have book talks, steam experiments, craft videos, virtual quests, and more. There is another virtual quest coming out on August 20th, which is um, an online adventure facilitated through Google Forms. These are just little um, virtual quests, kind of like escape rooms that you can just click through on Google Forms and have a little mini adventure. Um, In the quest, you have to make decisions about which route to take and use hints to solve riddles. So they're super duper fun. Definitely go check those out. The link is on the Clarendon Public Library website. Something else exciting happening is that we're having our second and final live stream on August 19th at 2 p.m. This one will be about training for a triathlon with me and Trinity. There will be lots of audience interactions, songs, and story times. It will be a great time, so please come watch our live stream. It'll be on our YouTube channel at 2 p.m. August 19th. Uh, Another fun thing is that we have activity sheets coming out every week. These are available in branch to pick up at the front desk of any local branch that you're near. Um, And we also have virtual copies that you can download on our website. Um, You can uh, grab these activity sheets to check out some cool crafts and games that you can play along with with your kids and maybe even learn a fun fact or two. Finally, uh, make sure you guys are logging onto Beanstack and logging your reading times, completing the challenges, completing the activities, and keeping up a reading streak, uh, as well as writing reviews. So Beanstack is what we've been using to record our reading times this year for the TD Summer Reading Club. 
and um, there's actually been a prize draw going on that um, ended on August 15th, Sunday, August 15th. So if uh, you or your child uh, or your child who's registered in the TV Summer Reading Club read 120 minutes um, or uh, that is for school-age children or 10 books, which is for preschool children, you may have actually earned a prize. So keep an eye on your email inbox and phone calls for a message from us possibly inviting you to pick up your prize at your local library branch. And in the meantime, keep on reading and logging those minutes so we can reach our community goal of 20,000 minutes by the end of summer. Well, that's all the information I have for you today for library news. So without further ado, let's get into the books. So there's lots of great books to read with your little ones this summer, and we've compiled a list of our best recommendations. So we're going to start off uh, by categories. So the first category is picture books. And the first book that we want to recommend to you is called Birdsong, written by Julie Flett. This is a book that is most appropriate for ages three to eight. And the story is about a young girl who moves to the country and feels lonely till she meets her new neighbor, an elderly woman who shares her love of crafts and birds. The story follows their growing bond throughout the seasons and includes beautiful and heart-wrenching illustrations. This picture book really, really has amazing, very pretty drawings. I cannot stress that enough. Um, It is a little sad, but it's a beautiful story overall. Definitely brought tears to my eyes when I read it, not gonna lie. The author, Julie Flett, is a Cree Métis woman, and she weaves some Cree language into the story seamlessly, which is a great learning opportunity for your kids to learn some uh, some words in an indigenous language. Um, this book really makes you think about the connection between nature, healing, and life, and just the way unlikely friendships form, just like between the little girl in the story and the older woman. This is a great book, so definitely go check it out. Um, it is available as an ebook and in print, so place a hold on it today. All right, and another book that we have, a picture book, is called Box of Text, and it is by Kim Smith, and it is most appropriate for ages about four to eight. And so the plot of the book is Meg is a brilliant and creative box of tech. She loves impressing her teachers and classmates with what she can make out of boxes. But there's a new kid at the maker school that she goes to, Simone, and Simone is good at everything. But more importantly, she's a box of tech too, one of the only other ones at the school. When the annual maker match is held, Meg and Simone are paired as a team, but they can't seem to start arguing. When their extraordinary project turns into a huge disaster, they must find a way to join creative forces, lift each other up, and work together. This book is really good because it encourages creativity, like making things out of nothing, or in this case, boxes. Uh, The parents are also very supportive. They encourage this idea of following your dreams, no matter what those dreams may be. It also supports the idea that people work better together than they do apart. Um, Essentially, teamwork makes the dream work. The next book that I wanted to share with you is called I Promise by LeBron James. Yes, the basketball player LeBron James. Um, He wrote a book, most appropriate for ages about four to nine, and it's essentially about um, promises. And so in the book, each promise Uh, helps kids grow into successful, compassionate, and kind adults who strive to make their dreams come true. I Promise is a lively and inspiring picture book that reminds us that tomorrow's success starts with the promises that we make to ourselves and to our community today. The author, LeBron James, is just a kid from Ohio who is dedicated to uplifting youth everywhere. LeBron operates under the belief that the key to a better future is to excel in school, do your best, and keep your family close. I think all great ideas. The book is really beautiful the way that it's written. It's very poetic, uh, a lot of rhyming, and I'm definitely a sucker for rhyming. It also sends a very positive, uplifting message. One of the uh, lines in the book says, I promise to be open and try new things and enjoy the happy that change can bring. So as I said, very poetic, very beautiful, and it also encourages the younger generation to kind of question how things are and just always be curious. So our next category of books is nonfiction. The first one up for this category is a book called Terry Fox and Me, written by Mary Beth Leatherdale and illustrated by Milan Pavlovic. This book is recommended for ages four to eight. So this book follows the story of Terry Fox from the perspective of his lifelong friend, Doug, from childhood to the marathon of hope. Doug stood by Terry's side and supported him through his ambitious feats of courage and inner strength. 
Uh, these two BFFs challenged each other to be better athletes and human beings and brought out the best in each other. The story has super cute illustrations and tells a valuable lesson of the importance of friendship. Personally, I really like how the story puts a different perspective on the Terry Fox story we've all heard growing up. Um, it highlights more of Terry's life before the Marathon of Hope or his cancer diagnosis, and it shows that Terry has always kind of been that brave guy that we all know about now. It would be a really great book to show your kids the importance of bringing a toonie for Terry or participating in the Terry Fox run at their school um, for a Terry Fox day. Um, really just brings a whole new perspective of what went into Terry's life and how amazing of a person he really was. So go check this out. Go check this book out if you'd like. It is available as an ebook and in print. The next book up is called Proud to Play and it was written by Aaron Silver. This book is for more mature readers, recommended for ages 9 to 12. In this book, you can learn about LGBTQ plus athletes in Canada and their achievements in the sports world. From hockey to gymnastics to figure skating, these amazing athletes have proven their talent time and time again. You may have even seen some of them in the Tokyo Olympics this summer. This book has lots of large photographs in vivid color and is super nicely organized and designed. I really like this book because it's been a really long road for LGBTQ plus athletes to feel safe to come out on the public stage. They could face discrimination, harassment, and lose supporters if they were to come out. It's a very risky thing to do, and so these athletes highlighted in the book are very brave, and it's great to see them getting some recognition for all the amazing achievements that they have done. It also helps to normalize LGBTQ plus presence in society. It shows us that it's not an unusual thing to belong to this community, that LGBTQ plus people have been here all along, and it's just now that they're becoming able to share their identities and their stories with everyone without fear of repercussions. So this is a truly amazing thing, and I love how this book highlights all of their incredible accomplishments, as well as their identities. This book is available in print at your local branch, so place a hold on it today. Our next category up is chapter books. So the first book we have for this category is called My Best Friend and Other Illusions, and it was written by Suri Rosen. This is another book more suited for mature readers, so ages 9 to 12. This chapter book follows the story of Charlie, a young girl who dreams of joining the circus one day. When her dreams are dashed, her childhood imaginary friend suddenly appears as a real person to help her out. Can a little bit of magic get her through her family conflicts and help her achieve her dreams? Read this witty and fast-paced fiction book to find out. I like this book because it's a uniquely refreshing concept and it introduces discussions about forgiveness and friendship. I also like that it has a strong female character who is career-driven and doesn't settle for less than she deserves. This is a great message for young kids who also have big ambitions. She keeps going after her dream despite all the challenges that she faces. Um, it also shows that it's okay to ask for help, and one closed door or a disappointment of some sort can always lead to another opportunity. This book is available in print and as an ebook, so check it out today. And the next chapter book we recommend is called Eight Times Up, and this book is written by John Core also appropriate for ages 9 to 12. This novel is all about a boy named Riley, who, since his mom left, has been a mess. He feels nervous all the time. His heart is always pounding. His neck feels tight, and he can't seem to turn off his brain. So his dad signs him up for Aikido, which is a Japanese martial art, hoping it will help him control his anxiety or at least power through it. Through the teachings of their sensei, Riley and his classmates come to understand that Aikido is not about winning or losing or about being perfect. The sensei shows them how to tap into their inner strength and find their place in, their ever, in this ever-changing world. So this book is perfect for middle school age children and it really normalizes mental health um, in society and shows that it's okay not to be okay all the time. It also, the characters are very diverse uh, and they all come from different backgrounds and different walks of life. So it shows many different perspectives and it shows how it doesn't matter really where you come from. Everyone has to deal with some sort of mental health and everyone's just trying to work through. No one's perfect. And you can check this book out at print at your local library or the ebook on Hoopla. And that concludes all of our recommendations for the TD Summer Reading Club. Hopefully some of you will drop by the library and check out some of these great reads. 
now let's hear some recommendations from our very own TD Summer Reading Club members. We've received a ton of reviews on Beanstack so far, so we're going to highlight a few of our favorites and see what kids are reading this summer. Who are we going to shout out today, Trinity? Well, the first person we're going to show out, shout out today is Colin. And Colin, we have been really enjoying his reviews so far. We always look forward when we hear that he's submitted one, and they're always fantastic. So he reviewed the book Box by Min Flight. And this book is about four toddlers who find some toys in a cardboard box and decide to play with them for a while. But before long, the friends get bored and their attention turns to the boxes themselves. And what could they do with so many boxes? Colin really enjoys this book because he, he likes guessing which toys would be in the boxes. Also, just to further his cred, Colin has read and written over six reviews and read over 420 minutes. That's a lot of minutes. So way to go, Colin. Pick up this book at the library and you can guess along just like Colin did and maybe find your favorite toys inside. The next person we're going to show out, shout out is Safira. So if you're looking for any French recommendations and you happen to like unicorns, Safira has the book for you. So it's called Joya Saint Valentin, Le Corine. This book is about a, a unicorn who has a cute twisted horn and a big heart and lots of love to offer. As Valentine's Day approaches, Licorine is looking for someone to befriend. Safria says that the book is very magical and that the unicorn could make flowers and plants with its horns. How cool is that? But Licorne is sad because they are always playing alone. Check out this book to see if the unicorn makes any friends. And the next person we're going to shout out is uh, someone named Marcus. Marcus has posted several great reviews so far. One of his reviews is for a book called Best Friends by Shannon Hale. This book is part of a series of graphic novels following the story of a girl named Shannon as she faces the trials and tribulations of middle school. In Best Friends, Shannon tries to maintain her friendship with her best friend, Jen, the most popular girl in school, but struggles to keep up with the ever-changing trends and social hierarchy of her school. Will Shannon be able to stay true to herself and keep her friend group? Marcus said that he liked how the story talked about Shannon's feelings and how hard it is to keep friends sometimes. This book and others in the series are available in print at the library, so check out Marcus's recommendation at your local branch today. And our last shout out goes to Alyssa. Alyssa is a reader who has written over seven insightful reviews. So if you're looking for an adventurous novel for older kids, Alyssa thinks you should look no further than The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. This book is about a pair of siblings who are suddenly thrown into the world of Egyptology when their father wakes an ancient Egyptian god sending chaos into the world. They soon discover that the ancient secrets they are investigating may involve their family more than they ever thought. Alyssa thinks that this page turner would be a great pick for anyone who loves fantasy and ancient Egypt. If that describes you, check out this book as an audiobook, ebook, graphic novel, or print copy today. Well, guys, that's all that we have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning into this very special episode of Off the Shelf, a TD Summer Reading Club podcast brought to you by the Clarington Public Library. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Clarington Public Library YouTube channel. Also, another reminder to make sure that you're registered for the TD Summer Reading Club on Beanstack. We'll see you next time. Once again, I'm Trinity. And I'm Maddie. And this is Off the Shelf at the Curtis branch of the Clarence.